All right, so I got this V860 built. It's not started yet. I haven't started it yet. I haven't tried to start it yet. I did make sure the starter was turning it over. I did verify the fuel pump. It's pumping fuel. I'm running it right now, the fuel off of the fuel tank off of this setup over here. I've got it wired up with six volt positive ground, which seems weird to me, but that's the way it is. All I have right now is I have the coil wired straight to the negative terminal on the battery. I haven't plugged it up yet, and I have the generator wired straight to the negative post on the battery, and then the positive terminal is grounded to the motor. And I have a fuel get a uh, oil pressure gauge right here, just so I can see oil pressure. So all I'm gonna do is got the coil and the generator right here on this battery terminal. All I gotta do is slip it on here. Once this is on, then I just gotta hold these wires from the neg the this negative terminal to the starter neg to the starter terminal there. Let it turn over, give it a little bit of gas, and hopefully uh, hopefully it'll fire up. All right. So it's hot. much about these Strombergs. I don't know where it was coming from. I just tightened the bowl up because the bowl, this is a fresh rebuild by another guy. I tightened the bowl up because it was a little bit loose, but I have no idea where that was just coming from. I imagine the needle and seat might be hanging up. Again, see if you can tell where the flooding comes from. It's coming out. That's weird. So I turned off the fuel line. Obviously, got enough fuel in it. I heard it try to start. For now, I'm just going to put a few. I just don't know why it's doing that because when I checked the needle and seat, on the carb, it seemed fine to me. Like I said, this is a different carburetor. This is Stromberg, and I'm, all my stuff has Hollies on it, every one of them, so. Anyways. flathead fuel pump and it's a it's original it's not a aftermarket so fuel pressure shouldn't be the problem I guess it could be but See any good squirt?
I'm gonna try it one more time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to yank this carburetor off and put an old, put a different carburetor on it, I think. It's obviously got a, a problem and I just don't know enough about it. I freaking hate carburetors. Paid a lot for this one too. How much? Too much. <laughs> because of what it is being the correct carburetor for this engine, being an 81 with a little 52. All right, well, shit. I guess we will uh, Let's step back and punt again. All right, that take two or take three? I think we're on take two. Anyways, I changed the carburetor. I can already tell this old carburetor, it looks like it just came out of a junkyard. It's got really good squirt on it. I mean, the accelerator pump just feels good. It returns back, it's tight. I can hear the squirter squirting. Um, the other one doesn't have that, any accelerator pump. So. Anyways, shit, these wires came out again. Hold on, just keep it going. Cram that wire back in there. Tighten this back up. Oh, At least it's not blowing fuel over there. Alright. I'm gonna hook the box. I'm gonna hook the ignition up to six volts. Who's 
heavy duty. Mm -hmm. So look for a breaker or something. Yeah, that's pretty heavy duty. Hitting like that. that much starting time on anything, especially if you just got rebuilt. It's got a good breaking oil in it, but I hate doing it to it. But damn it, you gotta start them, you know? Thank 
time. Pico, come here. Wake up, Angie. It's a six volt coil, um, six volt generator rebuild. Um, I hate, I don't know enough about the electrical part of it to really run it on um, 12 volts. But anyways, I called a buddy of mine that rebuilds generators and he said that I could start it on 12 volt positive ground and not run it too long, but it shouldn't be a problem. Um, anyways, this little six volt battery here is just not, was not getting it. The carburetor's not dialed in. I had this perfectly brand new rebuilt carburetor on it, but it's just not doing it. The thing is blowing fuel everywhere and doesn't have any accelerator pump. Um, anyways, this carb seems to be okay, but it is uh, pretty weathered for sure. But then again, so is this one and it runs great. Anyways, that was the first start of this little V860 that I rebuilt tore it down. I mean, it's been, I bought it from a guy up in Connecticut and shipped it here to Tennessee and um, totally rebuilt it. Every nut, bolt, and bearing. Ends up sounding pretty good. Pretty original. Um, I've got all the stuff on it is original 37 stuff. The heads, fan, generator, cut out. Even the carbs, correct. Little 81. Put the transmission on it. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. This was a little bit of a struggle on this one. Thank you.